Hello everyone, I am going to explain question number 13 from exercise 9.2 and this question belongs from 12th class max. Here we have to integrate this uh, function with respect to x. So I am going to do the second part Then uh, with the help of second part you can easily do the first part. So in second part the given function is 2x divided by sin x minus y upon 6 and multiplied by sin x plus y upon 6. So to integrate these kind of questions whatever you have in the denominator angles same angles you have to create here also so first we will proceed like this students since we have to integrate so i am going to assume the integration of the required function as i so integration of sin 2x then divided by sin bracket phi minus uh, sorry x so x minus y upon 6 multiplied by sin x plus y upon 6 and then dx as it is. Now here my next step is going to be here instead of this 2x I need to create these angles here. So like this I need to proceed. So this question is uh, similar to question number 12. So if you are done question number 12 easily you are going to understand this step what I have to do here. So this sign, now this uh, 2x I am to write down as x plus x. Once I am going to subtract pi upon 6 and second time I am to add pi upon 6 so that the meaning remains same. So just see here, here we have sign 2x. So if you have to solve it, again you are going to get 2x only. Listen, I wrote this sign 2x in other format. So what is the format? First 2x you just write down as x plus x. Once you just add and subtract to the pi upon 6. So and the denominator you just write down as it is without any change. So we are going to be sin x minus pi upon 6 and then sin x plus pi upon 6 and then dx as it is. Now here we have to make pair in the numerator. By keeping the denominator in our mind, we have to make the pair in the numerator. So when we make the pair, it is going to be first denominator I am writing as it is. That is a sin x minus pi upon 6 multiplied by sin x plus pi upon 6. Now in numerator, I am going to make the pair like this. Plus in the big bracket, x minus pi upon 6 then plus x plus pi upon 6. So like this I created the pair and I created the pairs so that it should be similar with the denominator angle. So here the first angle is x minus pi upon 6. The second angle is x plus pi upon 6. So that only I try to create in the numerator. Now the numerator is in the form of sin a plus b. So sin a plus b formula we have to use here. And uh, you all know sin a plus b formula that is sin a plus b formula is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So this formula I am going to use in the numerator. So integration symbol and uh, denominator as it is that is uh, sin x minus pi upon 6 multiplied by sin x plus pi upon 6. In the numerator, sin x minus pi upon 6, then sin a cos b. So sin a, that is first angle, then with cos, second angle, that is x plus pi upon 6. Then plus cos a, so x minus pi upon 6, multiplied by sin x plus y upon 6 then dx so i hope it's clear to you so here in the numerator sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b now this denominator i am to separate with both the terms so integration will also get separate so in next step it's going to be when we separate them 
it will appear like this integration of sin x minus pi upon 6 cos x plus pi upon 6 the denominator is also separate with what so the denominator you have to write down as it is x minus pi upon 6 then sin x plus pi upon 6 dx plus integration symbol cos x minus pi upon 6 sin x plus pi upon 6 whole divided by sin x minus pi upon 6 then sin x plus pi upon 6 multiplied by dx now students you just see these are the same terms here after separating the denominator these are the same so they will cancel so cos upon sin is 10 sorry cot in the same way here uh, these two will cancel so here also we will get cot so cot x plus pi upon 6 and cot x minus pi upon 6 so in next step all the cancellation and by using the formula we will get integration of cot x plus pi upon 6 dx plus integration of cot x minus pi upon 6 dx and uh, students said uh, now we will integrate them because we converted into the simplest form so now we will proceed the integration so here I am going to use this formula that is integration of cot x with respect to x is log Want to be log sin x. So log mod sin x plus c. So this integration formula I am to use. So when we we'll use the formula, it's going to be log mod sin x plus pi upon 6 and mod plus log mod sin x minus pi upon 6. So if we we'll apply the chain rule inside, then also it is going to be 1, so it is sufficient. Now here, the both log are in addition, so it is going to be, we will use the formula further in 4 log. And uh, the formula which I am to use in next step is log m plus log n is log m n. So this formula I am going to use in the next step. So, log mod. So, this is our m that is log sin mod sin bracket x plus 5.6 then multiplied by sin bracket x minus 5.6 then mod plus c. So, that is our answer. So, I hope it is clear to you. So, this will behave as log, this complete will behave as m and this complete will behave as n. So, log m plus log n is log m n. So, they can be the multiplication. So, that is our last step of this question. So, this is our answer. So, I hope this question is clear to you. So, this question is uh, completed here only. And uh, the first part I will not explain but I am giving you hint. So, you just proceed like that and you will get it. So, the first question is, the first part is we have to integrate sin 2x divided by sin 5x multiplied by sin 3x. So, this 2x you just convert as integration sin 5x minus 3x and divided by sin 5x and sin multiplied by sin 3x. So, like this is do. Now, here you just use so, what I am doing is, the first part I know not solved, I am just giving you hint only, you just try, you will get it easily. Here in denominator, the angles are 5x and 3x, so this 2x you just split as 5x minus 3x, because if you will do 5x minus 3x, you will get 2x only. So, sin 2x we wrote in other way, so that the angles should match with the denominator angles. Now, here you just use sin a minus b formula as I have done in the second part. Similarly, you just proceed, you will get your answer. 
So solve this and further if you have any doubt in this part, you just write in the comments so that I can clear out your doubt. Thank you.